This is part 116 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to implement reset password functionality in ASP.NET Core. This is continuation to our previous video, part 115. So please watch part 115 before proceeding. To be able to reset a user password, we need four pieces of information. The email address of the user, whose password we are trying to reset, the password reset token itself, new password, and confirmation password. Email and password reset token are in the password reset link and the user provides new password and confirmation password. Notice this view model class reset password view model contains four properties email, password, confirm password and token. These four properties hold these four pieces of information that we need to be able to reset a user password. So let's add this view model class to the view models folder in our project. We want to add a class and let's name it reset password view model. We need those four properties that we have just seen on the slide. So let me paste them here and we also need the namespace of all these validation attributes. Next, let's implement reset password view. To be able to reset a user password from the user, all we need is their new password and confirmation password. But in the background, to be able to reset a user password, in addition to these two pieces of information from the user, that is password and confirmation password, we also need the user email address and the password reset token itself. If you've been following along this course, in our previous video, we implemented this reset password link. Notice in this link, we have the user email address and the password reset token. At the moment, on the UI, we have two visible UI fields to capture user password and confirm password. In addition to these two visible UI fields, we also want two hidden input fields to be able to store the user email address and the password reset token because we need them on post back to be able to reset the user password. And here is the view HTML. We have a form with validation summary tag helper and then two hidden input elements to store the password reset token and the user email. And then a label input and span for password and the same for confirm password. And then finally, a submit button with text reset. So when we click this button, this form will be submitted. So let's add this view to our project. We want to add a razor view and the name is reset password. This is the same HTML that we have just seen on the slide. Our next step is to add reset password action in the account controller. The name of the action is reset password and it takes two input parameters, the password reset token and the user email. The values for these two input parameters come from this reset password link. Notice in the URL, we have the user email and the password reset token. If either the password reset token or the user email is null, we'll not be able to reset the password. So we add a model state error and return the view. So with all these changes in place, let's run our project and see what we've got so far. We are on the home page. Let's copy the password reset link, paste it in the address bar here, and then press the enter key. In the URL, we have both the email address and the password reset token. So the view is rendered fine without any validation errors. Now let's remove the password reset token from the URL. Notice we get invalid password reset token error. If we include the token back, we don't get that validation error. If we provide a new password and confirm password and then submit the form, we get a 404 error. That's because within the account controller, we don't have reset password action that can handle a post request. So let's implement that now. This reset password action handles the post request. It receives reset password view model object as an input parameter. If the model state is valid, meaning on this incoming model object, if we have all the required values, that is the user email address, the new password, confirmation password, and the password reset token, we try to find the user 
with the given email if we have found the user that is if user variable is not null we call reset password async method on the user manager service because this is the method that resets the user password and to this method we pass three parameters the user object for whom we want to reset the password and the password reset token itself and the user new password if the result is succeeded then we send the user to reset password confirmation view if the result did not succeed we add the errors that we get back to the model state and then re-render this reset password view so the user can see those errors that he got and another important thing to keep in mind is if we are not able to find the user with the given email address we will not reveal that to the user to avoid account enumeration and brute force attacks so we send the user simply to reset password confirmation view so let's add this reset password action within the account controller just after this http get reset password action let's add the http post variation our final step is to add this reset password confirmation view so let's add it to the account folder in our project We want to add a razor view and the name of the view is reset password confirmation. It's a simple view. It displays the message, your password is reset. Please click here to log in. On clicking this link, we send the user to login action. So let's include a breakpoint on the reset password HTTP post action and then run our project in debug mode. We are on the home page again. Let me paste the password reset link. And then let's remove some of these characters in the password reset token at the end. So basically we are tampering the password reset token and then press the enter key. Let me provide a password that meets all the password complexity rules. We also need to confirm it and then submit the form on the incoming model object. We have all the required values, confirm password, email, password, and the token. So let's place another breakpoint right here and then continue. We have a user with this email, prajim at prajimtech.com. So this user variable is not null. And then we call reset password async method on the user manager service to reset the password, passing it the user object, the password reset token, and the new password. So let's place another breakpoint here and then continue. Notice the result variable, failed invalid token. Why? Because we tampered the token. So ASP.NET Core is able to detect that and then send this error back. So we loop through those errors, add them to the model state and re-render the view so the user can see them. So let's continue. There we go. Now let's include the actual password reset token. Provide a simple password that does not meet the password rules that we have configured. If we take a look at the new password, it is just three digits and definitely does not meet the password complexity rules that we have configured. So let's continue. And if we inspect the result variable, notice we have several validation errors related to the password complexity. So let's continue execution. There we go. Now let's provide a password that meets all these complexity rules. This new password is complex enough, so let's continue. The result now is succeeded. So if we continue, we see the message, your password is reset. Please click here to log in. And when I click, we go to the login view. Let me log in using my new password. There we go. We are logged in. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.